To install the Smart Deploy client, first we'll have to generate the installer MSI package and copy it to our end user device. On the left side of my screen, I have a virtual machine that I'm treating as my user device. This could be a device in your office or it could be a test machine here at your desk. Ours is on with a file share open on screen. On my console host, I'll open the Smart Deploy console and under Activities, click the Add Devices tile and then click Generate Client Installer. It's going to be pre-populated with my console host server name, so I'll just choose a place to save it. Clicking Browse, I'll go to C, My Share folder, and click Save, and then click OK. Then I'll come over to the client here, and I can just run it directly from the share. The Smart Deploy client installation doesn't take very long. We'll click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement, and click Next. It's pre-populated with my console host name, so I'll click Next again, and then Install. I'll click OK on the user account control warning and let it do its thing. When it's done, I'll click Finish and the service will start in the background. Now you can also push this client out over group policy or some other scripting solution that you have in place. I have a video on our YouTube channel that explains these steps, so be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We can come back over to our Smart Deploy console and click Computer Management where we will see our client appear. Once our demo client has appeared in our All Computers view, we're ready to deploy images, applications, or drivers. We can also capture the user state and do some really cool stuff. And it's easy as that, and we're ready for the next step.